<laughs> What's this doing here? Holy shit! Welcome to another edition of this old crack house. Today we're gonna go over some fantastic things. It's uh, the second floor is drywalled. I haven't gone upstairs to see it yet. I know a large portion of it has been drywalled. So I'm excited to see that. We're gonna see the process of the drywalling. I change out the bathroom window because it was all, it was, bo it was broken. It was, it was bad, you know, it was, it was a single pane piece of shit. Look, there it is, being a single pane piece of shit. Sitting there on the floor all useless and dumb. <laughs> it's so useless and dumb. You f***ing turd. Ah, I can't swear. You freaking turd. Garbage. Flimsy. You know what? I don't mind the windows that have the little crank and you wheel them out. They open and shut that way, but that's just more bullshit to go wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I feel like if anything's going to go wrong, it's those windows. And then somebody texting me over and over again on my phone. Oh, you had a baby. Congratulations. Um, but yes, I don't. I don't trust those. Those really were bombs. So that's gone. New window in. Show you that and drywall. That's that's what we're doing today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We have two parades in Buffalo, and the first ward parade is the shit. It's where it's like a good tight-knit community gets drunk but nobody gets in trouble and then you got the this major city parade on Sunday that one's trash that one's garbage it's where a whole bunch of 12 year olds go and drink and get stupid and they're annoying and loud what am I talking about again oh yeah good things The guy she tells you not to worry about. Get down on the break, it's a wind, though. It's a how you say a very nice wind. that normal? Every time that I go to like nail something in while I record, the first time, it's always that. It's always, it's always that, right there. Always just never good enough. And then when I just start not giving a shit, it's right there, it's solid. You know, I think that's why people watch this, is it's not always just like bang, 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 and the nail's in and you move on to the next one. It's like you see me struggle like a five-year-old trying to put a square block into a round hole. Oh, let's show you what's going on here. 
there's these little holes. If I get, there's little holes in the side. And I gotta drill, pre-drill these holes into the side of the two by fours so I can get the windows in. They're on both sides. Um, nothing too crazy, I'm not gonna make them too tight in there. Like I said, this is temporary until I can seal it because I wanna get some caulk around there. <laughs> Everybody loves caulk. Am I right, kids? <laughs> I'm the jerking off ambidextrously when I broke my hand that one year. You think it would have paid off, but no, no. Still a weakling with the left. I got a new caulk gun, and it doesn't have a, sp a spout cutter on it. Like, come on, Husky. What are you doing here? Oh, tell me that the little poker is, like, if he's buying a $20 caulk gun and the thing doesn't work as good as a $5 Home Depot thing. Oh, after 40 minutes of finagling, I finally got it. Let's get this screwed in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come in here and work tomorrow. It's gonna be my job tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be Wake up, work out, <sighs> come here. And probably knock down that little bit of ceiling that's lower than the rest of the ceiling. Somebody t showed me something. They informed me of interesting things. And now I'm gonna inform you of these said interesting things. When you put in recessed lighting and then you put in insulation over it, like this is right here for sound deadening, you want to make sure that your electrical lines are below the insulation so then if somebody needs to come in here and fix this after the drywall's up, they're not fighting and trying to shove their hand up this hole with a whole bunch of insulation. So if you can get all the wires and the excess down below, drywall goes up. The electrician can just easily reach through the hole, find the lines, pull them out, insert the recessed lighting. Bibbidi Bob, Bob's your uncle. What I forgot is how itchy fiberglass insulation can be and I keep touching my face. My hands are itchy and my face is itchy. That's probably not a good thing, right? You live, you learn. And then you probably get lung cancer, I assume, on most of this shit. All right, well, thanks for staying with me while I put in one window. Now just imagine how long it takes when I try to do other ones. It's just as pathetic. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Warwood Tools. Making handcrafted, hand-forged metal tools since 1854. What do you say we try some of them out here at the new crack house? Dependable! You betcha. Sledgehammers, <laughs> that's not the only thing. They got robots. They're dependable too. <laughs> What's this doing here? Shit! Get you some more wood tools! Hey, AC5 will get you 5% off of more wood tools, so. I mean, after seeing what they did here, why wouldn't you? Am I that strong? It's like Thor's hammer and crowbars. I wonder if I could do it with this one. Pat, put on some sledgehammer music.
That sounds good. So pick up your Warwood tools today. Just check out the link in the description below. Well, that was exhilarating. Let's go upstairs. Get my reaction of, oh, the bathroom is done. Almost all the way done. Look at the bathroom. It's purple. Let's, let's get in here. Let's get into this flipping bathroom. Oh, there's so much drywall done. Oh, man. Look at all the room I have in this bathroom. I can still almost touch one wall to the other wall, but I used to be able to touch this wall to that wall. Now I can't. Now I've got another amount of tub over there. This is so much bigger. You're gonna have the vanity here. You're gonna have a nice big old turlet right there. Everybody needs a turlet. I just gotta figure out, can somebody in the comments tell me what to do with this space here next to the tub? I'm not quite sure with it. I wanna, I think I gotta box it in. But do I box it in and then level it off right here and now it's, no, I can't. I gotta put, I gotta put like a wall and then probably some recessed shelving in there. And I think that's all she wrote. Here's the window. Look at that. I got my insulation, my, my, my good stuff. I got put in there and dry who all I need to do is get this boxed in. Might have Phil do that. Phil does trim. Not only does Phil do stairs, carpentry and drywall, he does trim, which is carpentry, isn't it? Now that I've thought that through, let's go in the master bedroom. TV, dresser, stairs to the attic, who cares about that? It's so cramped in there, nobody's gonna go up in there anyway. And this is gonna be an Airbnb for you all, so if you wanna go hang out in the attic, I guess you can. I'll probably just lock that shit. Probably lock that up. Closet space. Oh, I think that's where the, uh, I think that's where the light for the closet's gonna go. I think it's just going in the corner. Oh, I gotta ask Chris. Gotta ask him now. That's, that, that can't stay like that. Duh. Does this look out of whack to you? The house is settled and it's definitely sunk in the center. I hope the door still fits. How do I fix the door when the jam is out of square? I guess the answer is fix the jam. Isn't it fix the... Dang it. I don't want to do that. This room is small. I think this room is 10 by 10. It might even be... It might be 10 by 12. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if I take measure on me right now. Whatever, we'll figure it out, right? But either way, small room. We don't have a closet because I took the closet away so that we could expand the bathroom. So this room is small. Yeah, it's gonna fit like a, a queen size bed, barely. And that's about it. Probably just make it a single sleeper. Yeah, I'll probably just put a twin size bed in here and that's all she wrote. Otherwise, it'd be an office if I sold this place or if somebody lived in here. It's, it's tight without the closet. Without the closet, it's tight. But we needed that room. We needed that room for this bathroom. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be an awesome bathroom. Gotta get this fixed. We'll fix that. That's <laughs> fix it in post. Oh, this came out of the bathroom. So 
what you see down here on the floor was directly over the tub. We had to take it out so then we could put proper spacers up, get the ceiling up, and then have it, uh, we're gonna go over this uh, lap and plaster with some more of the ultralight. When the green and purple run into each other, it'll be flat. Because if this was two inches below and you're trying to play like some sort of like raise this side, lower that side, raise this side, lower that side with the ceiling, it's gonna look like crap. So Phil did a great job of taking this shit out on the purple side, putting up the drywall, and then boom, we're gonna go right over this drywall, just encapsulate it, and Bob's your uncle, we're good to go. Man, I am excited about this. And as always, we end our time at the crack house by having a conversation with Basement Jesus. Dear Lord, boy, we are just, we are getting some bounties here. We are having a, we are, things are starting to come around. The basement is still cold, but I am getting blessings upon blessings, just like Job. I used, to, I would crack jokes. I'd be like, oh Lord, I'm Job. You're just testing me. You're breaking me down again and again and again. And boy, did you, how were you? Holy jeez. And then, uh, and now I feel like I'm, I'm at the end of the bad time for Job, and I'm now I'm, I'm on the upswing where he got a whole bunch of wives and had more kids and had more wealth tenfold. So I feel I, I'm not I haven't you know I'm not getting that wealth tenfold yet, but hopefully soon. You know, well, we're 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 trucking, Lord. We're going there. We're going to the promised land. That's what we're doing. Walls of Jericho coming down. No, they're going up. Head to the promised land. Job at the good end. We know the begin. The good is beginning now. It's no longer a down. We're going up, going up, moving on up. With basement Jesus, Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. Oh, this show's never gonna get on HGTV, is it? All right. Well, might as well get started on this.